After we had a look at the competences required for teachers involved in CBL in our last video, let's now talk about the competences of students. When we think about competence development for students, we can distinguish two main categories of competences. First of all, there are the subject-specific competences that are linked to a specific discipline, for example, engineering, medicine, law, business, etc. And secondly, there are transversal competences like teamwork or collaboration, communication, creativity and innovation, etc. that are not linked to a specific discipline, but they might be useful to all students who want to succeed in today's WUKA world. It's not the aim to discuss in detail the subject-specific competence development, since this varies greatly from one field to another. Instead, we'll focus on the transversal competences that might be valuable to all disciplines. The competences that we discuss now are a possible but not exhaustive list of competences. You're of course free to add or subtract parts if they are more or less useful for you or even more importantly for your students. It could be valuable as well for you to do a competence mapping where you try to list all the competences that you wish to develop in the students participating in a challenge. However, what seems important to us is that there is a possible progression from a basic level to a more advanced mastery of the competences. If you define different levels of mastery, this will help you as a teacher and your students to see the evolution of their competences. And it has the advantage that one competence can be adapted to different levels, for example, bachelor and master students. One possible source to define the transversal competences could be the top 10 skills of 2025 defined by the World Economic Forum. They group these competences in four main categories, problem solving, self-management, working with people, technology use and development. Another source of inspiration for transversal competences are descriptions of entrepreneurial competences, such as, for example, the research from the OECD or the framework from Antakamp designed by the European Commission, illustrating the competences that make up the entrepreneurship key competence. Two other key transversal competences that students can develop are communication and collaboration. Communication is a key prerequisite to succeed in the professional world. Good communication skills help, for example, to create closer ties with important communities in the marketplace, to influence conversations, perceptions and trends, to speed up problem-solving processes, to create persuasive marketing messages, and lead eventually to greater employee engagement. Collaboration is another main transversal competence and is at the forefront of both the design of the CBL and as a means for solutions to the challenge. Students, teachers and extra academic actors, like for example industry partners and community members, collaborate in most CBL activities. This collaboration can be students working with other students in groups or teams, students, academics and industry or organizational partners collaborating to find solutions to a challenge and provide student feedback, students collaborating with community members to define challenges and identify, develop and present solutions. Through their participation and action in CBL, students acquire different transversal competences. A crucial question that teachers need to ask is, beside the definition of the competences and the expected proficiency of the students, beginners, intermediate or advanced level, for example, how to assess these competences. This will be part of our last learning module that will follow later on.